Today is a crazy day because today is the day where I decided to turn this office and empty, not used area into a live recording room. It will start today, it will be the next project, <laughs> but it, it won't be as excessive as the A Studio construction. So let's get started with like moving some things around. That's all we got so far. We're waiting for a delivery. It should arrive in an hour. In the meantime, more studio moving stuff around, making things clear again. Because there's one more thing that really annoys me. You see the B studio, which was like a year ago, my main studio. It, it wasn't being used really due to COVID. We, we used to rent it out with the vocal booth over there. That's not happening. But now that Andy kind of occupies it, it's, it's his studio right now, basically. Um, the DJ desk, it just doesn't make any sense in here. I mean, just look. Producer couch, cool. Sitting here, making music, cool. But having this desk right here, and then this narrow space for, for DJing, and the entire thing is, is really like in front of the speakers. That's really not how, how a studio should look like. We're ruining more than is actually helps. So this is also gotta go. frustrated guys i'm frustrated <sighs> there's just one way to solve it you know i'm andy follow bruno there he is Ooh, nice like i'm really frustrated because all of the drum stuff i ordered and i ordered it like express i paid extra so it will arrive here today and they they also told me it will arrive today but it just didn't and there is no chance that it will show up today so all of the drum stuff will happen probably tomorrow or the day after tomorrow. This right here is just something small to keep me entertained, less frustrated, and also for you, of course. Ooh. Hmm, yeah, I've been waiting for this. So this thing right here, as you know, I want to develop a live set and it's it's the only option I found that gives me all of the things that I need and want in a live set without using a computer. I know there are sequencers and, and other machines that can kind of fire up MIDI and audio, but none of them can do it like this, at least promises. I haven't tested it yet. I will hook it now up and see if it can actually deliver. If this doesn't work, only option is Ableton and taking a Mac on stage, which I want to try and avoid. So far, first, ooh, Akai knows at least how to how to do these rubbery pad knob things. Looks solid, and I have to say, for what it at least promises to do, and and for for the functions, because it's it's basically push plus an iPad that runs kind of something like Ableton. I think it's it's fairly priced. And I don't know a whole lot of people that actually use it on stage, but maybe there's a reason, or maybe they just haven't tested it yet. Let's see, I'll play around with it for one, two or three hours and let you know if this is good or bad. I have to say, it's it's not bad, like I can, for example, wait, 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 wait. I can launch, kick, and I can play the synth. It's like running in there. No computer needed. I mean, this is, this is the very beginning. That's just me playing around with it for like, I don't know, 20, 30 minutes. Um, 
the synth is amazing. So if I ever will like perform live and like, I, I think it will be the OB6. I just love it. It has the ARP. It has the hold function so I can play chords and I don't have to hold them for the entire time. This frees up hands and fingers. And this one right here so far holds up pretty well, but I think I have to dive in really deep to find the quirks because I think right now it can only like do eight tracks. So I have to be smart about building it up, but you can also like play the drums. Um, wait, I need to unmute this one. Select it right here. Go to step sequence. No. Launch. No. Wait. Unmute. And now I can play the drums. Can filter everything. Stop everything. Um, yeah, I'll keep you updated. Like this, this is a long process. Um, and the only thing that is already right now a downside, this thing only has like two inputs. So two inputs means I can only like have one synthesizer running in it. I wish it, they would like four, because then two synths, this machine, and you're ready for the stage. But just one, I think isn't enough. But I'll I'll maybe put a mixer in between. Again, this, like I've been thinking about this for days and days and days. Now it's time to try it for days and days, and then eventually find the perfect solution. Um, and then, yeah, hopefully in a month, do like the first full live recreation of one of my songs. Maybe with the archive machine, maybe with the computer enabled. I don't know, we'll see. But by the way, you might have noticed, um, I rearranged a little, like today is the studio rearranging day. I mean, look, it's all of the synths in order, just on that table, almost no cables underneath. And then the front, I, I just need a spot for the MS-20. <sighs> it looks so much better. It was messy, there was too much stuff. Um, but I had to just use it for a month and then see what I actually really use in my workflow. So one or two machines have disappeared. One or two machines or instruments are not anymore in here. Now that I have this recording room or that I'm starting to build this recording room, I can like take some things out of here and put it in there where it makes more sense. This room right here is for mixing, mastering, and synthesizer nerd stuff. That's like my room. And the B Studio will be for guests that rent it, for people that sing and the vocal booth and need it, for me doing sessions with singer-songwriters. Like it's it's more relaxed, it's brighter, more daylight, cozy kind of. It's not that very clean kind of thing. And the only thing that it still needs is like some absorption for the ceiling. This material right here will go in there, fabric around it, and those will be the absorbers. I don't know if you're interested, me sharing how I built them, very cost efficient. I, I think I've already made that kind of video, but maybe as a reminder that you shouldn't buy that black foam shit stuff. Also, that's now the office area, just one table for everyone. Uh, once COVID is over, we'll be able to all sit there and just do business stuff. And this section of the room is now the new recording music live kind of room drum set that should be completed hopefully tomorrow if they finally deliver guitars the dj set now has a proper place it's not cramped anymore into the b studio where it didn't belong and then over here we got my fake grand piano a real one would be definitely like the, the last piece to the studio i know there are a lot of last pieces i always come up with a new one but if I ever own a grand piano in here, whew, then you know I actually made it. So fingers crossed, wish me luck. Maybe in a year, two, three, it would be so epic. It's like the, the most beautiful instrument, the best sounding one on the planet. Always wanted to own one for, for absolutely no reason than just, just owning one. Anyway, see you tomorrow again, hopefully playing some drums. If not, we'll 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 just make something else. Well,